This week is National Police Week, a time to honor fallen members of law enforcement. But as First News at Nine's Kim Leetholm explains, it also serves as a reminder of the dangers of jobs in law enforcement, an industry that's facing a shortage of applicants. Police department is, is constantly looking for people. It's not the same as, as it used to be. We don't have as many applicants. Like many industries, law enforcement is facing challenges filling job openings. And Josh Miller, the public information officer with the Eau Claire Police Department, says there's a few reasons why. This job's under a lot of scrutiny. There's no question about it. And that does keep a lot of people away. The job is also dangerous. Three members of law enforcement in western Wisconsin have died in 2023. I think the like, events that we've seen over the past month unfortunately do give people second thoughts about this job. Um, but if, if you have that calling, if you truly want to be um, a police officer and serve your community, I don't think that goes away. Despite having fewer applicants, Miller says there are still promising people looking to join the field. While the number of applicants has kind of gotten smaller, um, we're still seeing the same number of really quality people that, that we want to hire in, in all of our application processes. The numbers um, isn't something we're as concerned about. We're concerned about quality over quantity. And we want the best students uh, that we can kind of mold and, and send out to their communities, wherever that is. Kyle Roeder, a criminal justice instructor and former officer at ECPD, says those with the drive to enter law enforcement continue to do so. One thing certainly has not changed with our students, it's their commitment to the community. Um, without fail, the number one reason people want to get into law enforcement is to help people. People don't do this job for the money. They don't do it certainly for the, the hours. Uh, they do it because it's a commitment well beyond themselves. Roeder says the CVTC Law Enforcement Academy runs three times a year and all of the spots in the academy are usually filled. In Eau Claire, Kim Leadholm, First News at 9. Miller says the Eau Claire Police Department does have openings and completes three hiring processes a year with the next one starting in July.